Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Politically Correct Ghana Lesson 244. And today being the 12th of September 2024, we want to look at what? Galamse in Ghana. Galamse in Ghana. All right. There's the media discussions. What going on in Ghana as of today, in the past two weeks, has been going on. And this attempt at fighting illegal mining has failed twice under the previous government of the National Democratic Congress and now under the New Patriotic Party government. So it means that we have to sit back and think through carefully. The first point is we call it Stop Galamse or Galam Stop. And I'm like, no, that is a nomenclature glitch. That is a taxonomy glitch or taxonomy misnomer. Galamse has been with our people for as old as over 200 years, probably dating back to Masa Musa's era, the richest person on earth, as of today, is the richest person on earth, Masa Musa. Okay, they have been gathering these precious minerals called gold and diamond. All they do, that is gather and sell. You just gather it and sell. All they do is that they take a panda as a sieve, get under the wall, get into the water, collect the water soil, the soil in the water, sieve it with water, and then it washes out clean. No chemical. It has no pollution to the environment. And then they pick this gold or the precious minerals and then go to sell. It helps our rural folks to come out of poverty. It helps our rural folks to come out of poverty. That's alluvial mining. That is nothing but alluvial mining. Then we have artisanal mining, which is also part of Galamse. So Galamse is made up of alluvial mining and artisanal mining. So Galamse artisanal mining is to have a pickaxe and small, small tools and just chip the surface of the soil and then gather it, wash it in a river body, just like that. And you get it. You don't wash with any metal. They do not wash with metals. So Galamse is just the two, alluvial mining and then not artisanal mining. But what we're seeing now is that large corporations have been given license to now take care of what? To do or to operate alluvial mining. Large companies are now given the license to do alluvial mining, depriving the locals of what is this. And we have now named Galamse as illegal when it is informal. Galamse is informal. It's just like going to sell in uh, Kaswa market or the whole Kaswa market is informal. Kaneshi market is informal. Madina market is informal. As old as Malamata market is still informal. Are we saying that we are going to ban that? Informal is not illegal. You cannot ban something that's informal, which is traditional. It's a traditional practice. But our people have used the law to twist everything. The law has been twisted such that they've given alluvial mining licenses to some firms. I'm just going to mention them and you go online and you check. We have uh, Kibi Gold Fools. They are into alluvial mining, large scale. All right. Then we have Dunkwa Gold Fools, large scale alluvial mining. We have Golden Rye. Mining Company Limited, large scale, bounty gold mines, also large scale alluvial mining. The locals are to take care of alluvial mining, but you've not given that to the large companies, mining companies. And when they extract the minerals, they use chemicals to wash them. Who goes to check whether they have the tailing storage facility? Nobody goes to check. So now we're complaining. We, we are mourning and whining and whining and blaming Galamse, which, which is informal which is supposed to be allowed to operate. We've now given it a bad name and we are tagging it wrongly. It is not right. Our nomenclature, Galamse is informal. It is not illegal. Galamse is informal and it's not illegal and should not be banned. So those who are calling for ban on Galamse, please take note. You are destroying your own livelihood. Australia, it's happening. Galamse, they also have a name for it, but it's just the same as garden and sell. Galamse is not wrong. There's nothing illegal about Galamse. It's just informal. You cannot ban the Kanishi market because it's informal. All right. That notwithstanding, what about these large scale companies that you've given them lances to do alluvial mining? You have to shut those ones down because they are the ones that are causing the problems. They get onto the river body. The law has no, the law does not distinguish between mining precious minerals on land or offshore or onshore. The law. That's the 2019 Minerals Act has no differentiation between offshore and onshore uh, mineral mining extraction with precious minerals. 
see so that is where the problem is now you've given lances for large companies to go and mine on the river body then you turn around and hit on galamse galamse is traditional it has to be preserved the name is what it is and we have to preserve the art and make sure that they are kept in that state but you don't bastardize it when it is traditional and it's been going on for centuries before the name of the country ghana even came i am not getting wet up but i think that the state must redefine itself if you're looking at illegal mining go for these large enterprises that you've given license to do alluvial mining first then you check whether the way they are processing and discharging their effluent is properly done if it's not properly done you check them those who are mining on water bodies those who are mining the forest reserve forest reserves are forest reserves that's the name is forest reserve when you allow them in is because your policy is weak so then epa environmental protection agency minerals commission are supposed to be doing the policing are they question is that are they doing the policing monitoring effectively if no why don't get them to do it that's the solution is to sit back think of it you just sit back and think of it if you send the soldiers in they are full twice they'll keep failing because the practice is not the the orientation itself is to chase galamse which is not what they are after they must go for those large companies that are you have given lances to do alluvial mining and they are mining on the river bodies and even some of them are mining in the forest body forest reserves that is where the problems are go chase those large companies and leave galamse alone galamse's name must be kept clean it is informal and must not be bastardized the name is H. Kwame Afaglo. I leave you with this. Kalamse is informal and must not be bastardized. But then the state Ghana is in its sort state suicide and not existential crisis. Because we ourselves have allowed, have twisted everything, twisted the laws in its enforcement and its compliance to our own detriment. And it's become a challenge for our own living. So we want to, we are just assisting suicide. We assist the state is assisting suicide of its nationals. Thank you.